89 pieces of balloons lore. Small monkeys mode came to be because a monkey drank the balloon master alchemist shrink potion. Have you ever wondered what's inside a spike factory? Well, it's a worker monkey, a ton of spikes, and a sweet sound system. Sniper monkeys and ninjas are constantly sharing tips and tricks on how to be stealthier against the balloons. In fact, there is even a game of hide and seek going on as we speak. ETN's drones are named Un, Do, Twa and Baguette, and his UCAV is named Argus. The monkeys that get washed away on Flooded Valley are perfectly okay. They just get to go on a little water slide for a bit. Jericho was a cobra back in the day where he learned lots of secret techniques, one of which was how to change the balloon types of his opponents. No one knows if a Prince of Darkness could reanimate monkeys. There are just some lines that no monkey dares to cross. We've never seen Lich attempt such a thing either, though it's unclear if he's too afraid to try or if he just doesn't possess that power. Have you ever wondered how things like flower get inside balloons when you turn pop effects on? Well, the monkeys use special projectiles and weapons that allow these effects to show. Some monkeys opt to join the reserve battalion and can instantly drop in when needed. This is how Insta monkeys work. Monkey explorers have seen writings and heard stories of great balloons with terrifying powers like Lich, but many of them have not shown themselves yet. Though alchemy is a very old form of chemistry, alchemists are very up to date with modern technology. They just use different and more experimental methods than other scientist monkeys. Other monkeys are technically capable of building sentries, you just need a special sentry license that only engineers have the training for. Buccaneer's grapes are frozen and sharpened with cutlasses before being loaded onto the ships. The Monkeyverse has plenty of fast food restaurants, with the main ones being Banana Express, Monkeys Jr., Hungry Pats, and the classic Monk Donalds. Heroes generally get sad when excluded from Odysseys, as everyone enjoys a good boat trip, but Brickle gets furious when excluded from any naval mission. Quincy graduated at the top of his class from the College of Archery. DDTs are always training and ready to go, no matter what. The mark on Azili's forehead is a scar from when she was a child. Pat sleeps with as many blankets as he can, as he loves being all snuggled up. So far, the balloons have only escaped to the land of Ooh, but if they do manage to escape through another portal, the monkeys will be right behind them and team up with the heroes of the other universe. Fingers crossed for a Plants vs. Zombies collab. Alchemists are constantly trying to perfect new potions. Some that they're working on right now are the Potion of Invisibility, Pat Strength, Speed, and Instant Banana. Bloons eat hopes and dreams. Literally. Members of elite fighting forces get special insignias that they can wear and paint on their vehicles. Two examples of this are the Goliath Doomship and Special Poperations. The Glue Rat always seems to find glue left behind and loves rolling around in it. Speaking of the Glue Rat, his name is either Snitch or Skrulk. We haven't quite figured out which one yet. Biker Bones is a real flaming skeleton monkey. It's not a costume. Brickle thinks waterbeds are essential while on shore, but Ben disagrees as he's too worried a stray dart might pop the bed and ruin his tech. If Geraldo opened a market, he would name it Geraldo's Mystic Emporium and Mustache Grooming Center. Speaking of Geraldo, when his bunnies fuse, they take out all their anger on the balloons. Apparently, they're pretty angry. There is a ban on arm wrestling for the monkeys. There are just too many risks. Jerry's fire is not so hot that it causes monkeys to breathe fire. There is just a little hot sauce spirit who pops out and helps fight the balloons. DDTs always travel in threes because they read up on monkey history and came across some ancient texts that said the number three represents good fortune. Dart Industries is the main supplier helping all scientists, wizards, alchemists, engineers, and super monkeys design, test, and construct all equipment needed. Just like our world, companies in the monkeyverse ask heroes to sponsor or endorse them all the time. In fact, Ben does a lot of sponsored posts. Which reminds me, use creator code HFOM if you want to support the channel. Monkeys do have nicknames for each other. I mean, it would be awkward for someone to be named Refreeze or Led to Gold. It took the Beast Handler over two decades to tame the beasts enough to take them into battle. Monkeys don't feel sad when the players don't upgrade them to their favorite path. They're just happy to help in whatever way they can. The Mad and Sentai Churchill are good friends and have a healthy competition for who can look cooler in their mecha suits. The base Tack Shooter is pink because that was the original Tack Shooter Engineer's favorite color. The Beast Handler's Beasts and Geraldo's Merge Bunnies have a friendly rivalry for who can be the better beast. Speaking of the Beast Handler, they feed their beasts four times a day on top of all the balloons they eat. Benjamin is the best joke teller of all the heroes, and Striker Jones is the worst if you don't like dad jokes. Sandbox mode is akin to a practice simulation where monkeys can try out different strategies and paths before heading out to fight the balloons. Patch has popped many balloons in test environments, but if she were ever attacked, she could defend herself with her wit and her trusty clipboard. These handlers had to search far and wide to find these types of amazing creatures. The heroes don't all live together. Ben has a cave with at least five monitors, Pat has a big pond, and Adora lives in a sun temple. Sato's blades are finally crafted and enchanted before battle, then they act 
activate once Sada has leveled up enough. Ben doesn't hack in infinite money because he's an ethical hacker and he likes to keep it somewhat fair. Geraldo's rejuvenation potions taste like a tropical sparkling juice. The beast handler can't pop purple balloons because his stick is imbued with magic. There is a bit of a shock when Subs, Bucks, and Brickle first met the Megalodon, but they trust their beast handler allies and were never worried. Sada's not too picky about her tofu, but she loves frying it and eating it with tons of sauce. Sauce. Don't, don't put that in. Outside of tofu, Sada loves eating harvest pea snaps and chocolate chia pudding. Monkeys love hanging out on their contested territory islands, especially when you add fun decorations to them. Agent Jericho wields a standard issue Popper 226. Have you ever wondered how entire villages are built in less than a second, yet buildings can take about a day to make in Bloons Monkey City? Well, the villages in battle are more like pop-up ones, where the ones in the city have to be sturdier and are built to last. Adora's favorite animal is the T-Rex. Because of this, she has a tremendous tremendous amount of respect for beast handlers and their dedication to training their beasts. Dreadbloon enjoys eating bread and collecting pretty rocks. If he finds big strong rocks though, he turns them into shells for balloons. Dartling Gunners tried replacing their darts with some buccaneer hotshots before, but it didn't work out. The Powakai and Wizard Lord Phoenix are great friends, often going for long glides across the plains together. There are all sorts of professions for young monkeys to choose from outside of the ones we see. They can become lawyers, doctors, firefighters, and much, much more. The cave monkey, aka Greg, loves hanging out on warm beaches. When not fighting balloons, Ben works on mastering every programming language, but he loves to flex his programming muscle with C Sharp. Monkeys are not stuck in their role forever. Any monkey needing a change of pace can head back to training and pick a different role. Super monkeys are surprisingly humble day to day, though they love showing off when asked to. The monkeys are pretty committed to not destroying their world and habitats, and have even modified their new to not damage the ecosystem. Apparently, the trick to this breakthrough was adding bananas to the payload. A very popular kid's toy in the monkeyverse are banana blocks. You can make all sorts of contraptions out of them, but they don't hurt monkey feet if stepped on, even if they're shaped like spikes. Sounds like Legos with none of the downside. Ezeli loves shiny hunting and even has a shiny Gengar. It turns out that the balloons don't have a currency of any kind. They're just a bunch of airheads. That was, that was dumb. The different band colors for tier one and two dart monkeys don't give or increase their power. It's just a vibe as wearing comfortable bands help them pop balloons better. Daily challenges were once considered training for monkeys, so Dr. Monkey could analyze any gaps in their capabilities, but recent discoveries show that the balloons may be studying the monkeys in these challenges too, so it's a two-way test. Full auto snipers are able to whip back and forth without getting whiplash because they love to dance in their free time, giving them plenty of training and coordination to spin and twirl. We've never seen the monkeys go on the offensive, but we're not sure if that's worldview, supply line issues, or lack of intent tell about where to go after the balloons. The Magus Perfectus is so powerful that they just magicked their beard into existence, and Geraldo taught them his ways to always keep it in pristine condition. Churchill loves driving his tank so much that he just spins around even when not popping balloons. He says this helps him not get stuck, but that's probably just an excuse for him to do donuts. Kaiju Pat's armor is different than that of Cyber Quincy and the Anti-Balloon. His is more natural, and theirs is made of metal. Jericho is not seen in BTD6 because he's out on top secret missions. Though, when asked if Jericho will ever come to the game, even in just a cameo, Ninja Kiwi said he's pretty busy, but never say never. Geraldo's pet has a mustache that is also filled with power, just like his owner. The Bloons have a strict hierarchical structure when not on the battlefield. Bosses are up top, and Red Bloons are down at the bottom. Monkeys that can see camo balloons can still tell the difference between camos and normals, so they don't think that rounds 24 and 33 are super easy. Heroes love giving back to the community outside of just popping balloons. Ben provides tech support, Adora likes to lead guided meditation, and Sai is a part of the local community marching band. In the Monkeyverse, Battles and Battles 2 are practice and strategy simulations to prepare monkeys for the battles ahead. No one has ever succeeded in hacking Benjamin, which is why he helps the MIB set up their system. Super monkeys can fly as seen in the Super Monkey Storm, but placed super monkeys avoid flying as to not get distracted so they can do the best job they can. Cyber Quincy does not run on batteries, nuclear, or solar power. He just has to make sure to get a good rest each day like the other heroes. Beast handlers don't get nervous when their sharks, dinos, or birds start biting mobs or BFBs because they have a special dentist on speed dial for any issues that might pop up. The boomerang monkey can throw and catch glaives without any protective gear because of how much practice they've put into their craft. In training, they used to get injured all the time, but they healed up just fine with bandages and soothing aloe banana selves. But that was 89 pieces of Bloons lore. If you want 79 more, click on this video right here.